Islamophobia has been a hot topic of discussion in recent weeks and months. That's why one group is hoping to tackle the issue through solidarity, bringing together different community groups to take a stand against hate. Mamdou Tanubari, 42 years old. Ezzedin Sufyan, 57 years old. At an event in Toronto, the names of the victims read out one by one. Six Muslim men gunned down during evening prayer last month. It didn't come as a surprise. It was a matter of when it would happen. But it certainly unsettled us with respect to the safety within the Muslim community. Tonight's event aimed at tackling Islamophobia was organized in the wake of the deadly shooting inside a Quebec mosque. We're getting in but recent incidents have made the conversation even more necessary. Just last week, anti-Muslim protesters gathered outside a Toronto mosque as worshippers arrived for Friday prayers. It actually reminded me that there are people out there that are that vile. You're actually standing in the way and intimidating people who all they want is to worship. That protest, the latest backlash over an anti-Islamophobia bill that saw the MP who introduced it receive death threats. She, the terrorist, the terrorist sympathizer, the terror inducer, the disgusting human being. That's why those here tonight say standing up against Islamophobia is more important than ever, and they want it called out by name. Will they ever question anti-Semitism as a term? Will they ever question racism as a term? They dare question Islamophobia as a term, especially after what happened in Quebec. We are all connected uh, as part of the human family. This evening was a chance to meet and exchange ideas with those united against hate. To start to develop a positive and sustainable um, relationships within the, like among the, the broad communities, not just the Muslim communities, but other faith-based communities. Many here say they feel it's their responsibility to speak out for those targeted for their religion. I know very well what happens when communities don't stand up for each other. Um, I'm named after a four-year-old child who was murdered by Nazis, and no one stood up for him, and I will never ever let that happen to anyone else. And organizers say for allies who want to do the right thing, it can start somewhere small. Say something on Facebook and not be passive when someone says something hateful. Uh, it could be that simple. Meanwhile, Toronto police are looking into another incident of religious discrimination. Police say they're investigating anti-Semitic notes left at a North York condominium. Tonight, Mayor John Tory released a statement saying anti-Semitism has no place in Toronto and that our Jewish residents should not have to face hatred on their doorsteps.